morning. Good morning. Okay, now I can hear you. So give me five, four, three. All right, and switch. All right. I look absolutely nuts right now, but I'm getting ready to shoot my hair routine video. This is how I've been looking in the house and um... Okay, so this is the before. This is what my hair is looking like and has been this way for the past day or so. But I just ordered a, um, what do you call it? Like an Instacart order from CVS where I purchased the olive oil normal. And this is the new growth relaxer. I just realized that they had the new growth only or the size relaxer perfect for shortcuts as per the box here. I've never done this before. And just a quick disclaimer, if you're one of those people that just get really hot and bothered by people relaxing their hair, you might want to click out of this video. The little tiny relaxer kit, this is so cute. This is the activator, so I'm just gonna mix it. Now, I'm gonna tell you right now, I do not recommend relaxing your hair at home. I would love if you go to a professional. Okay. Literally so nerve wracking, but yeah, basically we're trying to get the relaxer at the very roots in these areas. Like that. As you guys can see, I'm not like putting it on my hairline per se. I'm just kind of like just hitting the roots of my, the front section. I don't know why I'm talking as if I'm doing a tutorial because I, this is not that. I mean, I actually should not be relaxing my hair. I kind of sore, but I wouldn't. But at the end of the day, when you have a pixie cut, this is the life. This is the life. Like you can't not relax it because it's very difficult to keep it neat. And I just feel like I've just been looking really unkept. And I don't like that. The short hair, you guys, is not forgiving. Like, it needs to be maintained. All done and I don't know what it is about a fresh relaxer that makes me just look and feel so much fresher I'm just gonna go in with the quench moisture intensive leave-in conditioner I love this product I use it a lot when I was natural and I still use it even though I am now relaxed um, I really like it to just add moisture to my hair and in general I just always 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 try to have a leave-in conditioner in my hair I'm gonna go in with some serum. The serum that's in this bottle is not the serum. The serum that's written here is not what not is not what's in is not what is in the bottle. So um, I'm just gonna go in with a regular old serum, um, or you can use oil. 
doesn't really matter that's just what i do and i kind of just really coat the hair I start molding the hair in the way that i want it to be styled fragile you guys extremely fragile um, in fact three months ago there was no hair here and it's one thing to lose your edges because edges in my case they in my case they always grow back but I've never lost my hair up here before so it made me realize like something serious is going on you know and also with thinner edges I'm able to like do a little comb over and kind of fake it till I make it up here, there's no way to hide it. I'm gonna need like a Donald Trump toupee thing. Thankfully, I was wearing wigs, so I really didn't have to like worry about it. Um, but still, still traumatic because you have to take your wig off at some point and you're gonna see it. So um, I was just really sad. Let's just say that. But we are fine now. I am doing all that I can do to kind of repair the area. So far, so good. So as you guys can see, the back of my neck, like these areas do not grow hair. It's just how my hair has always grown. Um, so my only option would be to kind of cut my hair this high, like as high as up here. That's one option to kind of make it really like uniformed. But I don't know about cutting my hair this high. I've tried to play around with different hair designs to possibly hide it. So I sometimes just take the hair and I kind of just comb it over this area, something like that. Okay, so usually with your pixie cut, you kind of wrap it with like the tissue things and then you sit on your dryer with the mousse. I don't do any of that. I literally wash my hair and tie it down with my silk scarf and wait till it dries tie it down like this and I don't tie it too tight because I don't want the scarf to leave any crazy dents in my hair I just let this dry for however long it takes I'm thinking three hours I should be good and I'll come back or I might just catch you guys tomorrow let's just see how well this goes so I'm Jamaican so we eat red snapper you know my island but I do love a good Brentino when I go out to eat but I've never tried like making it at home before the fish seasoning fish is very easy so we're gonna start off with some oregano my old boss well the boss I had when I was a waitress at the diner um, he's Greek and Greek people they love fish and when they cook their fish they use a lot of like oregano um, I'm gonna be smothering this fish in olive oil because fish loves olive oil, okay? If you didn't know, so I'm doing some oregano. I have this green harvest seasoning. It's kind of like a superfood kind of se seasoning. The flavor is a little bit bitter, but I really like to put it on food because it has like yeast and like really good stuff for the gut. So I put it on all my food now. Um, in, at Whole Foods, green harvest. Um, Superfood greens, nu nutritional yeast, all that good stuff. We're just gonna try to get the seasoning in the little slits that we created. I'm gonna let you guys zoom in a little bit closer. I'm gonna put a little Italian seasoning, just a little bit. You really wanna try to get it in the slits, like in these little grooves. Very important. Well, somewhat important. Okay. Really nice and herby fish. Put that to the side for a bit. I'm gonna cut up some ingredients. I'm gonna cut up some lemon. I'm gonna cut up some grape tomatoes. Some scallion. Should I chop them finely or big? I don't know. 
Maybe I'll just do them back. Oops. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to the fish. I'm gonna go back to the fish. Here we go. And we're literally just going to stuff her up. I'm gonna stuff the spinach inside the fish, something like that. I'm just gonna also grab some lemon and stuff her in here. So I'm gonna grab some scallion and I'm gonna also grab some sprigs of thyme. Okay, so it's kind of like Greek, but with these flavors we're adding, it's kind of like Greek, Greek slash Caribbean. <laughs> so yeah, just adding in my own little touch here. Just because I'm so used to foods with you know the flavors that I'm familiar with, like thyme and scallion. I'm gonna do that. Where scallion is left, just drizzle it all over. And I'm just gonna take my tomatoes and kind of just throw it all over it. So, yeah. Really simple. Just trying to make it look nice here. So my oven is still preheating. It's still, it's now at 370. It needs to get to 470. So when it gets there, we're gonna pop her in and that's pretty much it. guys happy Wednesday so I it's around 1109 right now I've had quite a productive morning so far I started off with a workout session at 8 a.m. and then I made breakfast and cleaned up and that sort of thing now I'm just gonna shower um, put on some makeup do my hair because I really want to film a video today so yeah that's pretty much what my day is going to be looking like and I also want to go get my nails done again um, I just feel like I just hate this French, it was so horrid, but because it was the holidays, I just said, you know, it's fine. Anyways, I want to share with you guys this dress from Amazon. It's what I wear to play tennis in. It's a tennis dress, but I really like the quality of this. Like, I literally have something similar from Aloe, and it was probably like $100 plus. And I really, really like it. And it also has a built-in sports bra, which I love. It's literally a sports bra, a short. Yeah, let me go get ready because I don't want to waste too much time and I'm trying starting to set up my wardrobe in here because My closet in here because everything was like on the floor and I still have to bring a lot of my clothes over um, I'm leaving a lot of things in my apartment because because I will still be going there as I said prior Because I do have events in New York City and things that I have to do so it's always nice having my apartment close by um, so I'm gonna leave like all my like city vibes clothing there and then make sure that all my everyday wear little things are here So I'm gonna wear this today while I get ready. Let's have a little chat So I just felt compelled. I don't know what prompted this. I think I was just watching um, someone's TikTok and she was expressing how she feels so like scared about starting her journey as an influencer because she's so afraid of what people might think you know i once felt that way and i'm just thinking to how far i've come and mean look at where we are today i could have never imagined i mean i decided to push through despite the naysayers and the the people in my life who i would overhear saying how cringy i was because i had a youtube channel and um, how embarrassing it was. I never stopped making videos. I never gave up because I knew, I know myself, you know what I mean? When I want something, I go after it despite what anyone else thinks. And it's so important to kind of adopt a mindset like that because once you believe in yourself, it really doesn't matter what anyone else thinks. So if you are thinking about doing something and you're scared, fear is a good thing. I don't shy away from fear. Like when I'm afraid of something, I don't use that as an excuse 
to give up on myself. I I go forward with it anyways because a lot of the good things that happened in my life, I was scared, but I decided to push through the fear and do it anyways, and I've never regretted it. Never regretted it. We're not a bunch of scaredy cats over here. We take a risk. We go after after what we want. That's kind of like the attitude that I've worked very hard to adopt and I try very hard to have people with this similar mindset around me too because there are moments where I kind of fall back into old habits of getting too comfortable and not believing in myself and it's important to have people around you that really help to put you back into that mindset you know for all of you too who are having a hard time whether you know you are just not feeling like yourself and for me i haven't been feeling like myself and all for a long time and it's kind of like discouraged not from social media only i just i'm one of those people for a while i feel like i just got really busy with this content creator influential lifestyle thing i mean events after events and it was to a point where I was literally just on autopilot, just posting to post. There is no meaning behind any of my posts. I was just posting to post um, because I really didn't have time to think and stop and slow down and really, you know, show up um, for you guys in the way that I like to. And um, what I mean by that is you guys know by no means my life has been easy, okay? I make it look easy and I make it look all rainbowy and sunshine, but nothing has in my life has been easy. Nothing has ever been handed to me and I've had to work extremely hard for it. And I used to boo-hoo cry about that, but to be honest, it just makes me more grateful and makes me more grounded in a lot of ways because I know like I didn't get here because of any favors or anything i worked very very hard and i slept very little and i worked very very hard from 14 hour shifts at a diner to uncomfortable work environments to you know editing on my iphone and to people you know people talking behind my back how cringy i am about having to channel to all of that all of that brought me to where i am today and let me just tell you sometimes again i've just been so busy that i haven't really stopped to smell the roses in a long time and i just hate that you know and i just love coming on here and just offering whatever little words of encouragement I can because I remember when YouTube was my little escape from reality, you know? You guys watched my How I Changed My Life video, you know, I was very, very depressed and I don't wanna get too deep into it, but this was not in a great mindset and I just felt like I just didn't wanna be here anymore and a lot of the times I just came to YouTube as a way to kind of distract myself and just watch channels, watch DIY projects, watch makeup tutorials, hair tutorials. At the time, vlogging was like a, wasn't like a thing on YouTube, so I didn't really watch a lot of vlogs. Um, but you know, I used to just come on YouTube to kind of just lose myself into someone else's world. And um, and I always said, you know, when I started my own channel, I kind of wanted to be that escape for a lot of you. Um, and also just share, you know, that I'm just a normal person, you know, there's nothing like really special about my life, you know, I'm not, you know, <laughs> you know, there was nothing really special about me. I was just a regular girl, you know, regular, 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 but I came on here and I really enjoyed you know, just making content and just so grateful for all the people that I have connected with and you know some of you guys write me all the time and just say how much my content has really like helped them and i've helped you guys on your own journey and that makes me so happy and that's kind of like the content i missed you know and i kind of just got caught up in a space where i you know i was just trying to be on brand on trend and just showcase a certain lifestyle that okay i mean i remember like back in the day a really huge part of growing your channel was 
be relatable. Not to say I was struggling or anything. You know, my life was not perfect at that time, but I, I always, you know, carried myself really, really well because I wanted to share with you guys, like, listen, it doesn't matter what you got going on, you can still look good. I, you know, it's always important to, to like not look at people online and like really feel bad about your own life. And the reason for that is, again, back to what I was saying, there were times when I was online showing up with a big smile on my face, but behind the scenes, going through it, okay? <laughs> going through it. Um, whether it was a zeroed out bank account, whether it was um, mental health in the darn gone dumps, don't come online, look at anyone, and think, wow, I hate my life, and my life sucks. Don't do that. Don't ever do that. You look around your room right now, your own life, and you, even if it's one thing, you find something to be grateful for. And don't you dare look over here or anywhere else and say that about your own life. Don't ever do that. And um, yeah, kind of like going off in a tangent right now, but um, in case I don't say it enough, just wanna say your support and whether you shop through my links or you simply just come on and say hello, I am so grateful. Thank you so much for your support and being here for me, whether you've been here since the very beginning when I used to make videos with, with my brothers, trying out Korean candy, if you know, you know. I may unprivate those videos actually, in case you were here from them time then, or the Fashion Nova hauls, the relaxer videos, whether you shop through a link or you simply just popped on to say hello. I just wanna say thank you because, you know, in a way, and not to get all really deep, you know, you guys really helped me get through a really rough patch in my life. Oh my gosh, not this water dripping. Drives me crazy. If I was ever locked in a torture chamber, all you have to do is turn on a faucet with dripping water and I will tell you all the information. Whatever you want to know. You don't even have a kotak tool on my finger. Turn on the water faucet. And I'll tell you all that you need to know. All right, um, I'm done getting ready now. I'm just gonna spray some perfume. I'm gonna wear my matcha. 26 of the day for the day I mean and let's get to filming so I'm filming a hair routine video I'm sorry like a hair update relaxer hair update video this back on my head because I want to do like the next day reveal I did my own relaxer which I think I might include in this video too so today's actually the reveal of my hair because I don't have a hooded dryer to sit under so I tie my hair down so it dries in place and this is basically how I style it so yeah, I will catch you guys after. Okay, all done filming. That was really, really quick, but I really hope it looks good. Um, I'm now gonna run some errands for the day. I have to go to Whole Foods and to just do a few things. I also wanted to do my nails. I had this French done and I just could not wait to get rid of it. It's so thick, like please remove it. I cannot stand a thick French. I feel like I am a suburban housewife which isn't a bad thing. So I'm gonna just go get this cut down and removed and just do like a plain color. I don't know, I'll also take you guys with me. I have a couple errands run, so yeah, let's go. Um, I'm trying to clean up the bathroom too because whenever I film you guys, I make such a big mess. Such a big mess, I cannot, I cannot stand it, but I can't help it, it just happens. Guys, okay, so it's a bit later now. I did go to get my nails done. Um, I went to the um, salon that I did go to just once before, but they had a wait time of 40 minutes. So I tried out another location, which was really, really nice. Um, I just went with my natural nails though. When I try places, I'm always scared to get like tips or anything. So I just went with my natural nails. So I just got this, um, I got color powder, which is basically dip powder, but they use a liquid instead of dipping your nails. He was trying to explain it to me, but I really wasn't understanding. But it's basically SNS, but they use a liquid, so it's called color powder now. Went with my natural nails, and this is what they look like. They look really, really long, but they're actually super short. If you guys can see here, my nails are really, really short, but my nail beds are pretty long, so 
like yeah and this polish doesn't really cover my nails like fully but it's okay i wanted like a milky way so that's what i went with and yeah it was really nice um and now we're parked up at whole foods i wanted to come get some groceries but let me zoom you guys in <laughs> my face is peeling so can you guys see that can you guys see it's peeling so so bad all right so yeah my face was peeling and um he's driving he looks over and he goes your skin is peeling <laughs> and i was like what pull down the mirror look at it just skin everywhere um yeah anyways i'm back on my curology and um yeah curology will get you together all the time every single time um i'm just really like hiding though in the car i mean it's not too bad i could have gone in i just did not want to um have to be outside in the sun because this area i already done peeled at the skin and i need sunscreen i can't just go outside like this so i'm just hiding out because it's a very sunny day we're getting two red onion one chopped squash um, we're just, just gonna buy some Brunzino. If you guys know, you know that I don't like frozen fish or meat. So we're just here to pick, to buy like, you know, fresh one from the fish market in here. So we're gonna do Brunzino. And I just told him to just pick up the red snapper because we may as well. And I'll just leave it in the fridge. I'll just seize, season it and just leave it in there for tomorrow's dinner. I'm having fish this entire week just to kind of help. My body just relax. I've just been eating a bunch of stuff and my body is just in a perplexed state so it needs to like chill. So I'm just doing like a pescatarian thing this week. So we're also grabbing three canned tuna because you guys know I love my tuna salad on top of like cucumbers or crackers. So I'm gonna make some tuna salad just kind of have it in the fridge for when I want to snack on something. Two jalapenos to put in the tuna salad and two cucumbers to put my tuna salad on. guys happy friday yeah friday the 30th i want to say um today's been a day <laughs> sorry i'm out of breath i just ran upstairs um yeah today's been a morning um it's like 205 right now today's moving so fast um i literally just showered and got myself ready for the day um, the house is kind of like in this gray color which is it's not bad it's what's in the bathroom also it's just gray but because the bathroom is so white in other areas, the gray complements it really well. But downstairs, I just feel like I want it to be really, really white because I will be using that downstairs like front area as like a kind of like a entryway entertainment, but also my filming room. So I really want it to look really nice. How it's gonna be decorated yet, don't know. But I was helping to paint yesterday and I was really enjoying myself until a paint dropped, a, like a paint drop, like fell in my eye, and I'm like, you know what? Let me just stop because I'm not cut out for labor clearly and this morning i was like you know what i'm gonna feel sorry for you so i'm gonna go help him and no i was over it within minutes I'm doing now i'm now just at the house i just finished doing a couple loads of laundry just folding stuff and like putting them away and just refreshing like our linens and bathrooms and um my mom left now would be like a few days since she's gone and i'm just like i'm just now getting the guest rooms like refreshed and like together um yeah and today downstairs is just like a mess because of the painting and um i have a dining room table downstairs that we don't want because it's just such poor quality we got it like kind of like rush rush because my family was coming into town and i wanted us to all gather around the table together Yes, yeah, so I just got a table like really really quick and this is what I get when I kind of rush things because the table is such poor quality Which we did not realize and now we have to wait for corporate to approve a pickup <sighs> It needs to come get this table like ASAP anyways, I'm just now gonna go downstairs and make some lunch
is wrong. Nothing. I'm fine. Hey guys, happy new year. It is January 1st and I did not want to end this vlog without wishing you guys a happy new year. There's something about the new year that just makes me feel just so good because it's a fresh start. It's a whole new year and it's a new opportunity for you to try something new, be whoever you want to be, make changes and just try to make this year better than the last, you know? And I just wanted to come and just encourage you to be very intentional about you every single day this year. Make plans, set goals, stick to them, hold yourself accountable. And I guarantee you with just those simple actions, you're just going to have a better year. Not to say 2022 wasn't a good year for you, maybe it was, but there's always an opportunity to make it better. I know 2022 could have been better in terms of organizing and planning better. 100%, which is why I'm so excited to share with you this 2023 personal planner printable life monthly weekly planner. I really think this is going to be helpful for you guys. One, it's $2.23. So affordable. You're able to download the files and basically print them out over and over and over again whenever you want. And I just think just making a list every single day, checking those boxes, it's a really good habit to practice to kind of just make your days more productive. All these items are actually from my older sister's shop, so definitely go and support. I'd really appreciate it. Also wanted to share with you guys this 2023 vision board planner on Amazon, a book that's gonna come to your door. It features all the beautiful photos and such that you need for your vision board, which I think is genius because if you've ever made a vision board before, you know you probably need like 20 magazines you're sitting and cutting for hours just to kind of find the perfect pictures this one has it all i personally have the minimalist version it's not here yet otherwise i'll show you Ugh. but there's three types perfect for different people and aesthetic whatever you like but i got the minimalist version which features like neutrals and stuff like that so i will add them all here for you and the link for everything will be down below also but yeah let's be intentional this year and make those goals happen and happy new year i love you guys so much and thank you for your continued support and i can't wait to see what this year holds for us so yeah i'll see you guys next week